Our top story changing the way you're charged. The hotly contested plan just approved that will add a fixed fee to your electric bill. Now that we've got your attention, lots to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Tony Lopez. Yeah, that'll get their attention. Mm. And I'm Marley Ginter. State regulators approved that new monthly fee today. Now the move means that millions of PG&E customers will pay 24 bucks every month automatically in exchange for cheaper electric rates. Your reporter Tori Apodaca getting answers for us on what this really means for your bill, Tori. Yeah, kind of like you guys were saying this new flat rate that the CPUC approved today isn't going to add an actual cost to your bill. Instead, it's just reconstructing the structure of it, meaning that you will see an increase of that $24.15 to go towards things like infrastructure, such as wires and transformers. Now, for lower income customer customers, they will be seeing a decrease on their bill as much as $18. But for customers, who may not use as much, they'll be seeing an increase of around $11. The California Public Utilities Commission passing a flat rate fee of $24.15 for electric bills and $6 or $12 for low income customers. The vote is 4-0. The item passes. With this flat rate, customers' usage rates will be reduced by $0.05 cents per kilowatt hour, meaning a decreased bill for large families and those in the hottest climates. Because of their vote, relief is coming to Californians who need it most. But former CPUC President Loretta Lynch says this change reverses the idea of if you use more, you pay more. How is this going to impact people that don't use a lot? It's going to raise their bills. She's concerned it may cause people to conserve less. It is a fact that that will increase bills on the 4 million households in California that don't use a lot of electricity as it is. And it's totally uncapped. But others say it's an incentive to go electric. The extra electricity you need to run those things won't cost as much. The change coming as customers already are getting hit with higher bills. PG&E already got the approval for a $34 hike in January, a $5 hike in March, with plans for more hikes to come. Stop the PUC! Protesters calling on California's legislature to cap the flat rate or pitch in and pay with state funds to lower the cost for customers. When it comes to electricity systems, the legislators say, no, you pay for it through the electricity bills. I think that's a mistake. As Californians await the flat rate they'll see on their electric bills by the beginning of 2026. This is pure hypocrisy, pure and simple, and greed, pure and simple. So state law does direct the CPUC to implement a flat rate, but people who are against this want to see a cap on it. So, Tori, I just want to make sure that we stress this, this so everybody understands this. This new bill restructuring won't impact every electric customer, though, in California, right? That's right. We're only talking about those investor-owned utilities, such as PG&E, San Diego Electric. In fact, SMUD actually has a similar flat rate already for its customers. That is also $24. All right, Tori Badaka, live at the Capitol. Thank you, Tori. Appreciate that.